How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews back with a little bit of Homebrew Wednesday. A little bit of low ABV, sub 4% English Dark Mild. Yeah, courtesy of my boy Mike. Yeah, he sent off two bangers. One was um, one was the ESB, and uh, the other one is this Dark Mild. And I'm going to tell you what. Sub 4% Homebrew, malt-driven sub 4%. I mean, table beer, it's uh, low ABV homebrew is hard period end of sentence um but man the mild the, the the maltier stuff i don't know for me has a little bit extra kind of a pizzazz to it because man things can go a little bit more sideways quicker let's put it that way anyway i mean yeah it looks all the part of a rich dark beard probably a little bit darker than what i expect from a dark mild um comes off very much kind of almost like double baki as far as vibrance and as far as look um, because it has this murkiness Belgian double light kind of darkness to it honestly I'm gonna tell you right now that looks kind of pretty yeah Let's see if we can get a nose on a rich kind of um, browns with that nice kind of sub malt bomb colored head let's get a nose I mean maltiness bready maltiness does kind of smell like a low EBV kind of uh, Belgian double um, but it does have that kind of Bready maltiness, uh, sweetness, a little bit of soft chocolate in there, maybe even a touch of the lightest portion of, of uh, coffee you could possibly imagine. Done and done. More importantly, sub 4%. There's nothing negative here. I don't get any kind of off flavors or anything like that. Yeah, it just smells epically drinkable. Let's dive in. Cheers. That's delicious. Man. I love low ABV beer, and it's really hard to pull off. I'm amazed at the mouthfeel on this kind of, this low of an ABV kind of beer, regardless of it being a maltier beer. It has this nice, soft, it's not even like bread. It's not, <sighs> so there's chocolate involved. There's like a, a a confectionery breadiness to it, but it, it's it's somewhere between almost like a chocolate pound cake kind of vibe to it, under sweetened kind of chocolate pound cake because it, it's not necessarily bread, but not necessarily brownie kind of vibes I'm getting off it. It's more of this soft kind of under sweetened kind of pound cakiness with that ever so slightest bit of kind of bittering to it that I would kind of attribute more to a bittering of a coffee as opposed to a bittering to a hop or a bittering to a malt. Um, but it doesn't have overt coffee vibes where I could talk myself into that. Man, this is really tasty stuff, Mike. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say it, it, it doesn't drink three, but it, in my brain, because of how the mouthfeel comes off and how the dense the beer is, it drinks more like a 5-6% beer than a a 3% beer. Man, this is really, really tasty stuff. Epically well made. There's nothing wrong with it flawed-wise. Um, you know, I can't get any of that metallic astringency. I tend to get in a lower ABV kind of dark beers. Um, and it's just honestly surprising living shit out of me. Because, uh, like, you know, I could just see, sit here and say, I know everything there has to do with beer and homebrew and all that stuff. I am not. I just talk about beer i drink it and i talk about what i like but i know making this level of low abv stuff is really really hard and the way this kind of comes off man you know what it reminds me of and it's gonna be a very regional thing it really does remind me of newberg's brown ale and, and that's that's a compliment believe because that's one of my favorite low abv kind of maltier crushers and it kind of tastes like that um if I'm going to get nitpicky, if I want to really kind of talk about it, I mean, maybe just a little bit more carbonation to it, but I think the mouthfeel in and of itself kind of makes up for that. Um, the mouthfeel of the beer has enough carbonation in it with that mouthfeel being over the top. Um, delicious. It kind of rescues it from that little bit of subtle low carbonation, but that's by far and away the, the most nitpicky thing I could think about the beer. Yeah. If a brewery put this sub 4% dark mild out commercially I think they'd have a hit and that's no joke that's not me blowing smoke up your ass um, that's not me trying to just be nice for the sake of being nice because that's not what I do this is fucking delicious dude there's no ifs ands or buts about it 
my buddy Keith is going to be infinitely irritated that he had no taste of this beer because this is the stuff he would just completely orgasm over. And, um, yeah, it suck. It does not suck, dude. It's what else do you want me to say? I mean, it's not an overtly kind of impactful beer. You wouldn't expect it at, at, at sub 3%. But like I said, it's more like a 5% beer than a 3% beer. And that's telling a lot of, uh, that's saying something, I should say. Yeah, I love it, dude. I think it's fantastic. I would love to have 19 cases of this because I could drink this pretty much every day. You know, it's just that tasty. Yeah. So there you go. I don't know what else you want me to say. It's homebrew. It's probably it's commercial level stuff. Just the ABV alone, which yeah, who knows? Maybe it's a little bit higher ABV. I don't know, but I'm trusting on Mark and what he said. Mike, goddamn, I fucking fuck up names all the time now. Mike and what he says. It's just a really tasty beer, and I don't care if if this is a whole point higher at four point eight, I'd still be this Gaga for it. So tasty stuff thank you very much for sending off dude and there you go that's it homebrew homebrew reviews they don't really get much simpler than that it's epically tasty low abv it probably like i said probably ekes toward more towards a brown ale as far as the vibes go for me low abv brown ale that's dark mild but i'm not i don't care because it's delicious it's delicious is delicious and that's it you don't get anything else i know this is i could just say this is one of my favorite homebrews i've had in a while i usually don't like to say that but i want to because it's just that damn tasty there you go. A little homebrew review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you very much for sending this off, dude. Very appreciative. Um, if you have homebrew, you want to send it off? I will say stuff about it. Can't guarantee niceness, um, but if you send stuff like this, you will get niceness. And uh, Matt MattMassaBeers.com um, Matt at MassaBeers.com or MassaBeers at gmail.com. Either way, the emails get to me. Social media, MassaBeers, type that in. You want to see me doing podcast stuff, Beer Massif. Massif. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this homebrew review. Hopefully you're enjoying some homebrew right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.